Hey, this is Chad with the Vintage Violin. Today we're doing a comparison video. I've got four violin or fiddles that I'm going to play against each other for a sound comparison. This works really, really well if you use headphones. Uh, what we're looking for are um, uh, richness, okay, like uh, um, a, a mellow tone. Um, if we're looking for power, if we're looking for volume, chamber versus maybe a soloist. So I've got four violins that are very different and uh, that way you can hear the different sounds of these four. If you're interested in one of these four, then um, great. If you, if you have four violins that, I, that are not compared, which is more likely, or, or maybe just a couple and you would like me to, to put together a comparison video, I'm glad to do that. Um, just let me know which ones. Uh, you can email me at chad at vintageviolin.com or you can email me through the eBay listing or comment right here on the YouTube video. All right, so we've got an 1880 Hopf. That's going to be the first one. And then the second is going to be a Stradivarius circa 1930. So that's going to be a, um, a trade era violin. So around 1930 Stradivarius model, German made. Uh, Volumea Paris. So that's... Um, Italian, right? And so, um, great, uh, great reputation there. That one's got a really, really nice sound. And then an Ernest Glassel, 1925. So that's a that's a really special violin. Uh, maker's mark, uh, mark on the button. Uh, just a rich, rich sound. So hot fit, I think, is uh, is going to be a little bit more like power and soloist. Uh, the Strad, um, I believe that was kind of an even, rich, mellow, just kind of an all-around well-aged violin um, and then the glass will probably I don't want to mislead you in your own but uh, we've got some great great violins I probably said too much already all right here we go I'm just gonna play them and so we're gonna the first time through um, it'll be um, on the DG string so I'm gonna play on the bass side and it's gonna be quick just uh, just a couple just a, a scale right I'm not gonna I'm going to play a scale on the D and the G, and then I'll go back through and play scale on the E and the A. And uh, you can hear the comparison. So here we go. This is the hop. So it'll be the hop. It'll be the hop violin, the Strad violin, the Vuleme, and the Glassel. And so I'm not going to speak in between them just so you can remember the sounds. So here we go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
All right, starting back over with the hop, then the 1930 Strad, then the Volame, and then the Glassel. There you go. If you have another couple that you want to compare, just let me know. I'd be glad to do it. Those are the uh, the Hop, the 1930 Strad, the Vulame, and the Glassel, and I'll be comparing four more in the next. So if you're interested in any of these violins, feel free to contact me, chat at the Vintage Violin, or through the listing. Uh, if one of these isn't the right one for you, subscribe to the channel, and in the next video you might find your